Well, hello again. Look, we are into week four on our weekly TV show between Ginny Jones and Heather Ellistrate. You know, we always meet Ginny and I two seconds, five minutes beforehand, and we are beaming. We're ready to rock and roll on the topic today of gut intuition and thoughts become things. Good morning, Ginny. Good morning, Heather, and welcome, everyone. I hope you enjoy today's chats that we're going to have, all about gut intuition and mm. our thoughts. You know, are our thoughts that we get every day, are they ours? Or are we actually picking up with our gut and our intuition other people's thoughts? Absolutely. Yeah, it's something to think about because sometimes you can have some random thought come in that, you know, you, you weren't even thinking along those lines and then some random thought comes in. Uh, I've actually got an example that happened to me last week. Hmm. Um, I was meeting a friend to do a house clearing for someone else and on the way there and I never have thoughts like this I actually had thoughts of my car driving into the central reservation and, and having a massive accident yeah I knew it wasn't yeah. my thoughts yeah but I knew it was the the spirit person who we were going to clear it off mm. it was not very nice it was him projecting those thoughts and when I got there and I met my friend I found out that she was having the same thoughts in her car driving from where she lives of ha her car having an accident. So those thoughts were being projected to us directly from someone else, whether it be a spirit person or a living person. Yeah. They can be, and thoughts do create things. Hmm. I mean, I was aware of what was going on and so was my friend, but my goodness, there must be times when I'm not aware of somebody else's thought coming into my, my intuition, you know, me picking it up. We're, we're like little, little um, radio antennas picking up things all over the place. <laughs> oh, Ginny, I'm so pleased that you brought this up because it's been a tremendously good week. Yeah. And when I watched your, your photos, I thought, oh, she's onto it. She's onto it. But you have brought something back to me in, in my experience. I went and did a, um, a, a clearing. It was in Taranaki, actually, and, you know, going around the mountain. Yeah. And all, it was a hot summer's, summer's day, and all of a sudden, I could feel my car going off road. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, it became cold and icy inside the car on a hot summer's day, like it really fogged up and... There was no one to, and in these situations, we needed to stop. Yeah, absolutely. So what I did was, was geez, I called in the Jesus dude. And of course, I saw the person that was projecting this, this on me. And I said, you've done a wrong thing here. Yeah. What you've done, we, we need to take control of what's happening around us. We, need, we are in command here. Absolutely. We command things to go. And... I, in this particular time, you know, I turned on the heating system on a hot summer's day, wound down the windows, and it was still icy cold on the inside, is because in my world, this is my experience, there is no difference between the spiritual realm and here being here physically. Yeah. We are all one and we need respectability. Yeah. And when it comes to endangering others, or endangering ourselves, and nah, 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 nah. Big no, no, isn't it? Big no, no. And this is where we have to step up and go, actually, no, in our command and everything. Yeah. So I guess, I guess, viewers, why Ginny and I are speaking about this today is because of the collective field that is out there at this present. Yeah. What belongs to us? Yeah. What doesn't belong to us? Especially if you're working in, in the fields that we are working in, there are things that are supernatural, yeah. paranormal, yeah. that we do experience. But what is happening, Ginny, isn't it? It's coming to the forefront even more so. It is. It's being presented, isn't it? Yeah. For lots being presented. Yeah. And speaking about being presented, you know, we, we tend to go down the um, what's ours, what isn't, clean up if it's ours, if it's not. But the understanding in that discernment, which is ours and which isn't. Yeah. Sorry about that. I'm going to have to... Sorry. 
Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, I totally understand that. Um, you know, when these thoughts come in or when these thoughts, because if you just, I don't know, say you're just getting on with it everyday life, we all mm. get thousands of thoughts popping mm. in and out, don't we? Mm. Especially when you're doing something boring, like perhaps hoovering or, or just driving in the car or whatever it is, something that you do every day and, it, and you just do it automatically. Your brain, if you allow it, is this antenna that's picking up stuff. But also, some of it is your own, and some of it is other people's. Mm. So the the I think the main word to remember here is being aware of what is coming in and what's not. You know, what's yours. You know, what's yours. You know, what type of person you are. You know, if you would normally think those thoughts or not. Um, and then if you, if you realize that it isn't yours, like you said, Heather, mm -hmm. you take charge of the situation. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and you block it off. You actually take it out of your system and, and just let it go. Mm -hmm. You don't have to. You know, you're in charge of your own being. Do you find, Jenny, like it's been a huge week, do you find the deeper you go, the deeper it is? Yes. So the deeper, the deeper that you say yes to being of service and humanity, do you find that... Um, all things are being presented. All things are being presented. Oh, my gosh, we are so blessed. Yeah, we are, absolutely. I love what I do. I really love <laughs> my whole being. And I was saying to um, mm. someone else the other day, this person we cleared over on Friday was, I'll tell you, was... Um, and not a very nice person when he was living. Mm. He was massive and he was a gang member, right? Mm. Mm. And I said to my friend, I said, I am so glad he's in the spirit because I do not feel fearful at all because he's in spirit. But if he was in living, I would have nothing to do with him and I'd probably run a mile the other way. <laughs> but because he's in spirit, well, I'm like, no fear whatsoever. Because mm. I know in my own being and my own power that I'm strong enough mm. and, and I don't hold fear mm. in that way anymore. I used to mm. anymore to be able to get this person over to the light because, you know, they're underneath it all, they're all souls. Yeah. And God always says that he would never give anything to us that, he, that we couldn't handle. Absolutely. Yeah. So hence the reason why we are thrown in the deep end in some situations as being these mystical wranglers, psychic detectives, yeah. blood and guts. I mean, we get blood and guts all the time. Yeah. Yeah. We get blood and guts. You know, I what I love about you, again, and I always say that I admire you. Because you're prepared to roll up your sleeves and you're you're ready to do gun ho, so to speak. Yeah, well, you're the same, Heather. You're the same. You you get stuck in there as I would, <laughs> right? and and do what needs to be done. Like you said, we're we're mm. in service, and when we're called to be of service, we get in there and we do mm. it. Mm. Yeah. Wow. So let's go back to our gut intuition. You know, I and I posted. But remember, guys, what I post is because I'm led to do it. Whether you want to call me pushing buttons or um, whatever you feel that you're projecting, it doesn't matter. I wake up in the morning after my dream state and go, I've got to post this. Yeah. Basically, to allow people to, to come into their own, to be who you are. There's nothing spe special again. I see it. <laughs> you know, the only th what I'm saying is just be you. Yeah. Say what you need to say. Express what you need to say. Otherwise, you'll it'll turn on you and you'll start getting a little bit sick because you're not being who you are. Yeah. Absolutely. So our gut intuition. You know, when when something says to me, "Oh, you need to do this." And I go, oh, it's going to upset a lot of people. And this gut intuition goes, no, you've got to say this. You can't go back now. You've already started the Yusami or the revolution. How about we rock the whole system up? So when I post something, you know what I love about Ginny, this beautiful, she's always inspiring and empowering people. And he comes here and she kind of cosmic slaps. 
because it's the yin and yang between Ginny and I. You've got to have the yin and yang. You've got to have that balance between us both. I'm, I'm the rocket scientist that, that goes in gung-ho and smashes things up when I know it's not truth. And the reason why I do that is because I care deeply. Mm. I care deeply about you all and what you're getting into. And hence the gut intuition. What are you getting into? What are you giving your power away to? Why aren't you listening to your gut feeling? And I know Ginny and I um, are unable to do what we're doing if we haven't experienced it ourselves. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we kind of pick up the pieces, don't we, Ginny? We do. We do. You know, you know, I see many healers out there that don't take care of themselves mm. to the extent mm. they should. Mm. And, you know, I'm, I can be guilty of it myself sometimes, but I am aware of it. So then I, then I change things. Um, because we can get stuck in that, that channel, if you like, of I've got to help this person, I've got to help this person, I've got to help that person, and I've got to help that person. But if it's to the detriment of yourself, if you find that you're being exhausted, if you're getting colds, if you're um, really tired at the end of the day, or you're not sleeping well at night, there's reasons for that. We, we must listen to our own bodies. Mm. Our own bodies are talking to us all the time. Um, and I see it with, with some healers out there. They're doing a wonderful job, and I know they absolutely love everyone they're helping. They're beautiful people, but sometimes it's to the detriment of themselves. And did you notice that a lot of healers actually do get sick? Yeah, they do. They start, uh, especially in feet. I've noticed that with a lot of people. Um, Their life force system is breaking down. Why do you think it is the feet? life force it's their life force yeah it's their feet i mean you and i know we've seen it we've seen ulcerated legs and we've seen uh, if you want to call it if you go back to biblical times you know i'm not being religious here um we're not supposed to as a as a true blue healer we're not supposed to carry other people's pain we're not supposed to absorb people's um Oh, gosh. You know, I've come to the point, Ginny, that the reason why people get sick like that is because it's dark mm. and, they're, and that they're taking it on yeah. and that the reason why they're taking it on is because they've got unkind lies and dark things whispering in the sounds of the head. Yeah. You know, God doesn't want us to suffer. Yeah. But he's making a lot of a lot of oh a lot of healers that I've seen are suffering. Yeah. And I care from the bottom of my heart deeply about you because the world is ready for you. Absolutely. Absolutely. But it's like you've absorbed all this stuff and you're absorbed everybody's pain. And please, we're not here to be folly. We're not here to do that. We're here to live a joyful expansion so of that- of all. How could we help other healers then by... Um... Do you know what I reckon, Ginny? Yeah, what's the cut-off point when you're dealing with... I, I reckon it's the religious spirit. I reckon it's a spirit that we are, you know, um, if you really dig deep in, into history, yeah. you know, you've got uh, Sir Fra- Francis of Assisi and you've got all these ones that were martyrs. Yeah. And seriously, you know, you've got a lot of a lot of factors happening here. You've got the religious spirit, you've got the spirituality and cliche, yeah. new AG that Mother Teresa, we're supposed to suffer, and the Jesus dude suffering, he didn't suffer. No. He was very well well grounded and, and rich and all that. And there's this 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 religious spirit that says that we are to be kept poor. Yeah. We are to be of service, and that means give us, give our all. Yeah. You know, I can give my all, and you give your all, but I don't suffer. No, me neither. But no. if I feel a little bit agitated, like I do, or sad, or 
or something, it's only because I'm not being who I am. Yeah. Yeah. So I bring myself into alignment again. Yeah. And I, I feel, sweetheart and, and viewers, between Ginny and I, we've had intense training. We've had the teachings of the best healers upon this earth plane. Wow. And with, without those, those teachings, I'd be a loose cannon. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I, I'm myself. I've, I've learned by making mistakes too. Oh, I'm yeah. Saying, yeah. I have, I remember I did a healing on a dear friend of mine. Love her to bits. Um, and I did a healing on her like I would normally, but obviously it wasn't like I would normally because I ended up waking up in the middle of the night and I had exactly the same symptoms as she had. So I had taken on board what it was. So that I'm trying to discern the, the amount of energy and the blending with the other person's spirit. There's a line that you must draw mm -hmm. So you do blend with the spirit and obviously you, you're, you're surrounding them in love and, and you're drawing in the healing energy and everything else that you do. But there must be a line there somewhere to stop that coming back into your being, what they've got. If we're talking about energy and almost kind of on a scientific -y type level, there must be a draw line of yeah. it's not coming back to me even though I'm giving what I need to give. Well, it takes a, a, a mastery, which you and I are in, because we've done the mastery. We've had, again, we've had the best teachers. And what works for you, yeah. what, what is, is working for you, the same as what is working with me. And we often laugh about the simple things and how we disconnect yeah. and honour and a sacred prayer or, or something. Yeah. But we all start out this way. We and Absolutely. And, and I must stress, if you're going to go into this field, you have to have the best training from someone or some people that have been doing this for years. Yeah. And, you know, I often laugh, don't we, you know, the good old vanilla. I'm not, you know, lavender. lavender. Yeah. And, and the cleansing of hands. Yes, yeah. Um, on Sunday, I just did a live event and straight into the bathroom. Yes. The cleansing of hands, the cleansing, the prayer, thank you, the cutting off yes. cords and ties from everyone. And what else do we do that's so different? I'm, oh, we've mastered it. Yeah, well, we, I know what I do. I, very, very important, and I, don't, I can't stress this enough, is you stand in your own power. Yeah. You are fully centered and standing in your own power so anybody else's stuff cannot penetrate it no. because you've got the power within you've got god's life force if you like within you so nothing else can come in that you know whatever it is cannot penetrate that power that you have and, and it's that's believing in yourself touch of confidence isn't it it is it's, it's having the confidence in yourself Confidence, belief, yeah. You know, with me, like I would head into a sabbatical every six months for a week. Yeah. Um, and there, and there, it was intense. It was intense. Clean up for the first three days, and then you go back out into ministry. Ministry. But you know what I like about it, Ginny. It's like just going to the dentist or going to a checkup or something. Yeah. Go to someone yeah. like Ginny and I, actually. I'm, I'll put in a plug in and healers come to us. Yeah. Go into someone who is not judgmental, not critical, but you know, it's like having a shower every day. You need to clear up your etheric field if you're this healer. Absolutely. I, I quite often myself, I will go on a retreat every so often. And that's for me. Mm. It's not for me to go and do work on someone. It's purely for me to soak up what I need to cleanse, recharge, whatever you want to call it. Mm. I mean, I'm thinking about when we move, if we find the right place, which I think we have now, um, actually doing mini retreats for healers, but it's yeah. not going to be, it's going to be everyone coming in and bringing something together. Yeah. 
So it's not, you know, we're all, we're all like sit around the fire chatting, you know, and stuff like that. So it's not going to be like a retreat. You're going to receive <laughs> loads of stuff. It's everyone just coming together to recharge, relax, sit and meditate if you want to, you know, mm. stuff like that. And stop the critical mind about beating up another healer. Yes, absolutely. Poor healer. Poor, poor healer. You know, if, you, if you're in the work that we do, you, you would, you, you, your toes would curl up. Yeah. Don't beat up that healer. They're doing the best that they could possibly be and, and um, that we are all here yeah. for a good reason. We are indeed. They're all so, in service. Yeah. Thoughts create things. Oh. I, that's been one of my mottos for such a long time. <laughs> Oh, yes. Yeah. So I try and tell a lot of my people that I do life coaching with and, and that I do yeah. the six weeks thing with that just be aware of your thoughts all the time. I mean, we're only human. Everybody gets them. You might get scenarios coming about your kids when they're off out partying or something else. And, you know, you take charge again of your thoughts. Don't allow those negative thoughts in. Change it. Make it positive. See them you know, safe and, and having a good time and, you know, and all that stuff. Thoughts really do create things. I can tell you, for instance, something that I did probably about seven or eight years ago now. I was working part-time and I really did not like the job that I was doing. And I kept putting in out there, please, God, give me a break. And I was hoping for a lotto win so I could give up work. Right? I think it took about five months of me saying, please, God, give me a break. I busted my ankle. So I oh, had my didn't. Yes, I did. Oh, you did Literally, God gave me a break. Oh, my gosh. So thoughts create things. Oh I've proved it so many times with myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I got my break. I had six, seven months off work because it was a bit complicated. Well, I had to go back to work afterwards. I never won the lotto. <laughs> what I love about the universal energy of, of the God force, whatever you want to call it, they, they can't really distinguish between give, give me a break or <laughs> um, what is it that you want? Oh, I would like $7 million, please. And next minute you get $7 in your pocket. Oh, my gosh, I've got to tell you something. I really have to tell you something. I came to... To Hamilton, and we did the big thing. We we hired the auditorium, and um, how many people do you want? Oh, 70 people, you know, blah 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 blah. Yeah. And 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 that second that I was to turn around to do this huge auditorium, we hired it out. There was only seven people. Oh. So it's that it's getting very clear in what and what you want because it's it's a cosmic agency that has no emotion or anything and we're supposed to say clearly, yeah. actually I want seven million dollars. Do you know how many noughts are at the end of it? Yeah. You've got to be really, really clear in your commanding yeah. or your affirmation and how you want money to come forth. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, well I I, I yeah. Like we were talking about abundance blocks, weren't we? Yes, yes. We and, our, and our gut feeling and everything. And I go, so if that means that you don't know about the zeros in seven days and now I've got it down to actually I would like blah, 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 blah within seven days, please. Yeah. That's 24 hours per day and you have to get very clear on what you have to say. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I mean, the words have to be so clear, literally mm. really clear. And it works again if you're asking, say you're going for a, a reading or something like that with someone and you've got a question you want the answer to, I get people asking me questions and I have to say to them, we need to get this question word for word exactly yes. what you want to know about, otherwise it'll just come out in a jumble. Yes. If you really want to know the answer to this, we have to word it exactly right. <laughs> so we both try and work out the right wording to put in the question so they can get the answer that they're looking for. And you know what? It's, it's so joyful, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Being in the joy, being in the zone, being who you are, and it's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. So thoughts be cre create things. Yeah, they do. They I, I guess for two weeks now, you know, you would have seen the videos and 
again, you've got Yin Yang here with 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 Ginny and I. Um, mine, mine is um, what's being thoughts become things. What's being created in your mind oh. to get you sick? Um, are you creating that? because of a word or a sentence that someone has said to you. So you've gone on to a tangent and creating an illness that wasn't really there. Yeah. Or at the moment, and I can say this quite freely, is someone, and I will say it, one of my clients at the moment, she was told that she, had, she is a reptilian. Well, I tell you what, she's gone into a huge de depression bipolar, but it's not her. I'm meeting a lot of people that way at the moment. They're so scared, these yeah. precious souls. Yeah, me too. And so thoughts 24-7, they've got low, this low energy. They've got a grey or a reptilian around them. And I look at them, especially a couple of them, and I say to them, mm -mm. if you have, I'd pick it up even before I even spoke to you. Thoughts become things. Yeah. Be careful what you're pulling in. And then we've got the true blue reptilian or the greys and they whisper in your head or they choose a moment where you are feeling very vulnerable and they start taking over and morphing in your system. Um, I know that Ginny's seen it a couple of times, but this is, this is my life. I'm, I, I see them and I go in with a big hammerhead. Yeah. It, it does exist. It does. But please what Ginny and I are expressing, thoughts do become things. And when you start thinking of these things, be very careful what you bring in. Yeah, absolutely. This is a big topic this week for us. It is. So, on so another, yeah, another, yeah. On another aspect, yep. if you've done a healing on someone and they are in the mindset that that healing's not going to work, mm. that healing's not going to work. It's not going to work. No. So it's not going to work. It's, it's, just the, it's just the same as going, for a, going to a healer and a miraculous miracle happened. Yeah. And then someone co comes along and yeah. says, I think you should see this person. And you're being intimidated. Yeah. And you're being coerced into going seeing another person. And that healer says something completely different. And then you die. Well, then you've got a problem. Yeah. It's the fact of the matter is quite brutally honest with you all that are listening. Be careful. Yeah. Yeah. Just just be careful in what you're playing with or what you're thinking about or giving your power away to other people. Yeah. You are magnificent beings. That's right. You are so powerful and yet we 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 tend to people please other people we tend to um because we feel unworthy we don't know which way to go so we follow the crowd yeah there's so much shit happening out there it's these times that we have to be very centered good old-fashioned confidence i'm one for that um standing in that power again Just loving it comes back down to loving oneself first yeah, yeah. and know that you are safe but yeah. these things do exist out there. And the reason why we are on this topic today is because it's been a week of it. Yeah. Since the time that Ginny and I have seen each other, it just seems to be there every moment. People are asking us questions. People go, how do we know the difference? How do we know the difference from good and bad? And the only, the only way that I can stress it is, are you a kind person? Yeah. Work on yourself first. Yeah, absolutely. Are you a kind person? Are you a loving person? If you go bad, the company heaven will just stand behind and they won't come in. I tell you, they won't come in. If you go bad, if you condemn another human being, yeah. if you are critical mind, judgmental, yeah. um, as long as you are a very kind person, you're safe. And I'm serious about this. If you are a kind person, your life will become an order. Yeah. And, again, and it, it's, it's mm. like attracts like, isn't it? So what yes. you are in yourself, yes. you will attract the same vibrational of people to yes. you. 
If, so if you're a decent, really good, loving person, that's who you will attract into your circle of friends and people that you meet. Absolutely. I was talking to someone, Jenny, the other day um, about light and dark. And they said to me, they said to me, who I respect, they said to me, the light is even more darker. That we have to be very careful of the manipulation that is out there. Yes, unfortunately with some, yeah. Yeah. Um, again, if you are just beginning to step into your giftings and you are coerced in any way by someone who's standing up there proclaiming that they are the way, the light, yeah. and they have this elitism of specialness, that's a sure indicator that you're not supposed to be there. Yeah. Because the true, the true warrior, I should say, the true, the true one is very humbled, yeah. and they will only put your needs first before themselves. Yeah. Now, I must say this again and stress this between Ginny and I, Ginny and I don't put ourselves out there as special. No, definitely not. All we're doing is we are a forerunner, a way shower for you to step into your brilliance because it's all about you. Yeah. There's a lot of things that Ginny and I can say. Um, we're and here. there's more coming between Ginny and I. <laughs> there is. And we really are here to show other people who are stepping up and coming into their light being. Um, the way showers in a way, and that's, not, and that's not being egotistical or special or anything like that. It's just that we've been, each one of us have been through a lot of things personally. Mm. We've realized it and worked a lot on ourselves while we've been going through our journey. And you know what? That doesn't stop. I'm still constantly aware of myself and I'm sure you are too Heather of what's going on with us all the time absolutely yeah. absolutely and I still stand at the kitchen bench or while I'm making a bed or preparing a meal or something when a thought comes in the first thing that I that I say to myself is oh my gosh is this mine yeah. with that posting that you posted up about healers um the other day does this belong to me? With my hand on heart, I'll go, does this belong to me? And listen to my gut feeling. Yeah. And if I'm getting no, well, then I just go, yeah. I blow it away. Absolutely. I blow it away with no attachment, no, I, I detach a lot these days. Yeah. I, I, I'm emotionless, yet I am in love with humanity. Yeah, same. I'm emotionless, meaning that things don't, trigger anything in me yes. and I'm pretty hot on that subject so <laughs> thoughts become things and I have a 17 second rule I think I taught you kids I call you kids no I, I taught that I have a 17 second rule I will only spend 17 seconds on that thought yeah and if I can't shift it within that 17 seconds after 17 seconds it becomes a manifestation yeah it, 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 it totally becomes a manifestation. Yeah. It's like, um, oh, someone said to me, oh, you don't get sick. No. Well, <laughs> one time I did, or twice I did, with a little bit of help from Ginny. Um, no, because I, I deal with myself. Yeah, it's the same with me. I, I, I meet people with colds and I hug everyone as well. Got full on blown colds, and I don't get it. But for starters, I say to myself, "Well, I'm certainly not going to get this." But I don't, I don't actually get it. Um, I think the last time I said I might, one of the post things that I put up. Last time I had a cold was probably three years ago, and that's when I went back to the UK, and I was having an emotional release then because I stayed with my mum for six weeks. Um, but yeah, you know. <laughs> You are what you think, basically. <laughs> it's true. You are what you think, yeah. And um, you know when you said about you get thoughts coming in. Sometimes I'm, I get, I might get a pain in my body, and I'll go to upstairs. If this isn't mine, please take it away. More often than not, it, it's gone. 
Mm. Oh, picking up on someone else's pain. Yeah, I, I call it the fear hit. Yeah. You, you get a, a sting, like I, I showed everyone on Sunday. It can, have you ever felt a sting that comes in? Yeah. Because we are in a, an etheric field. Yeah. We are in a collective knowing. Yeah. Like walking in the street or whatever we're doing, or even a thought can jump, thoughts jump if someone's yeah. having a thought of me and it jumps and it spikes. Yeah. And it'll sting you. Yeah. I've had and that. and it, it, it does sting and you go, oh no, that means I've got to dab myself a little bit again with, with um, good old fashioned lavender. Yeah. But that works for me. Yeah. But if you understand that life is very simple, spirituality, the journey is very simple. And if you don't put yourself out there as special, that's, it's that new disease that's come in. Oh, look, I, I tell you, I'm, I, I'm having a good time with you here, Ginny. Yes. I mean, <laughs> I mean when, I, when I get those thoughts come in, I actually um, picture it like a bubble over my head and then I, I just lift it off and then picture it going up to the sun so it's burnt. So it's not, it's not even floating around out there anyway. <laughs> it's completely <laughs> transmuted into something else that's more positive. <laughs> All, all cosmic slap. Yeah, absolutely. Or, or pull out our warrior sword and just do it all in love. Talking of swords, I've actually done healings on people and I've had to pull swords out of them. And that's because someone's been stabbing them in the back. Yeah. Okay, let's do a little wee thing as you said that. Yeah. What have I got here? I don't know. Okay. You know the center of your back and I call it the angel wings. Yep. the center of your back in between your shoulder blades when it oh, aches yeah there are your angel wings and that is the most weakest point of your body where jealousy judgment critical minds and that comes in and all of a sudden it goes right through your etheric field into your physical being and there are, 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 are our angel wings yeah. that is the most unbelievable point where things can get in yeah how to deal with that? I mean, get a friend to, to touch in between your shoulder blades and see how sore it is. And if they're sore, just sit with it for a minute and ask the divine, ask whoever to show you what it is. You'll be surprised what comes out of there. Yeah. Plus, I was going to give you a big box of um, salt that was given to me by my friend, beautiful lady named Val. Go and have a bath. Yeah. Jump in the bath with two cups of salt, submerge in it for only 10 minutes, put lavender in it, dab lavender, and tell me how you feel afterwards. It's awesome, isn't it, salt? Do the simple things. Yeah. You can do it in the shower as well. I've done it in the shower. I've had a mm. pot of salt, and then literally you get it in your hands, and you can literally put it all over you in the shower and then just rinse it off. Salt is such a cleanser. And cleanser back, and a protector. Yeah, if you look back into witchcraft, mm. Mm. and I mean white witchery, years and years ago, I'm not talking about the dark stuff, white witchery stuff, they used to put a ring of salt around themselves mm. for protection. Yeah. And did you know, I did it with my grandchildren and my daughter, when they would get home from school, I'd draw the salt and I said, if they've had a bad day, now jump on it. And they would jump in that circle yeah. and all pain, all disharmony would disappear from them. Yeah. It's amazing, Salt. I know. Yeah. I know. I know. Wow. Okay, look, we've had a few emails from last week and we've kind of answered your questions. Again, we expect you to... Um, send us more messages okay. now my apologize i have to apologize here people in my youtube there's a subscription down below i've had to put it on private <laughs> meaning it had to come through us for us to put up your questions and everything because at the moment youtube has got spam wow. and a few people who especially when we did the summit Ginny and i a few people really spammed us and I'm not quite ready to take it off yet for the public to put their vo uh, voice through. 
just bear with me if you're trying to put on a comment or something. I'm not going to do it just yet because I can. I'm using my gut feeling and my intuition. Again, we're coming to the end of this one. If this is one has gone really fast and we've got more to say on the topic. So next week we're going to do it. Yeah. Um, we're so grateful for you all. We are. You're all doing a wonderful yeah. job. No matter what you're doing in life, yeah. believe in yourselves. Know that you're here for a purpose and that you're doing a wonderful job. And please... Give us an indication on what you would like us to talk about because we're here to help you in whatever way we can. As much as we have fun doing it at the same time. Oh, it's, it's got to be joyful. Yes. But serious at the same time. Absolutely. So my love to you all and my love to you, Ginny. Love to you and love to you all too. Yeah. See you next week. See ya. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.